the, 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 the only real area in short selling that's at issue is whether a short seller has to deliver the shares that are borrowed. Because mm -hmm. remember, when you sell short, you don't own the shares. Whether they have to be delivered in three days like the rule requires. That's all that anyone has any question about. People like Manuel and his colleagues can trade all day long, can go short all day long. But the rule says that within three days, they have to deliver the shares that they borrowed. And right now, there is the ability to make it short mm -hmm. because many, there are many failures to deliver. That's the only aspect of the rule that anyone really has much concerned about and that I'm concerned about. Otherwise, I want short selling to continue. I think it's, it's a legitimate effort so long as it's not used with naked shorting to manipulate stock price down. Manuel, I want to bring you back into this. I mean, from what I understand, I mean, why do you think any kind of rule change that will ultimately harm the market? Well, any kind of requirement to borrow stock before you sell it is a negative for short selling. Mm -hmm. the, 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 short, the, the whole concept of the existence of naked short selling, it's an absurdity. There should be no reason to borrow stock. One should be able to sell stock at will, regardless of whether the people that are manipulating the stock up are willing to lend it to the short sellers. That's a concept that I'm afraid Mr. Campos is missing. His idea that you have to borrow stock in order to be short is plays into the hands of the individuals that have retained them to advocate this rule, which is counter short selling. Here he is explaining and agreeing that short selling is an important part of America's defense against fraud, mm -hmm. but he's advocating rules that harm the practitioners, such as myself, who are out to discover the fair price. Well, are you? Absolutely not. The all all legitimate uh, short selling uh, operations and hedge funds already have a system in place in which they identify the shares of stock either through a, a prearranged borrowed arrangement or through a uh, locating system. Mm -hmm. It's it's the rules. The rules have been in place forever, and the idea that there should be no requirement to borrow at all is well beyond. What, what regulation has called for for years. Is that sometimes we have to pay 75 or 80 percent to take a borrow. Mm -hmm. There is a, absolutely no economic reason. There is no reason why America should cause and force short sellers to borrow stock. Got that he says it's always been like that is, you know. Ro Roel, just got about 10 seconds, 15 seconds here. Well, it's, it, the, these are systems that are in place. Legitimate short sellers uh, make sure that they are going to have the shares to okay. deliver within three days. And uh, that's what needs to happen. All right.